The thing I love about our throwing program is that it's identical for softball players. Uh, the only difference is, of course, is for pitchers because they have an underhand throwing motion. Uh, today we have Monica Abbott. Uh, she's just recently joined our team and we're really excited to take her through our program. She's going to do everything the same thing as the rest of the video as far as the arm circles, the J-band work, and the long toss. The only thing that's going to change is because she's throws underhand is going to be that we're going to do some extra J-band work uh, for the underhand throwing motion and you'll see that in a second. And then of course for long toss, uh, we're going to also long toss underhand. Even though with pitchers, it's okay for them to also work on throwing overhand. So with that being said, uh, Monica, you ready to get going? Yep, let's do it. Okay, cool. Arms to your sides, palms down. Elbow slightly bent. Pivot from your shoulders, okay. Half. All the way. Three quarters again. Half. Think a little bit more about backward. Quarter. Do you want to always be as high as you are, low, and as low, far back as you are forward? Good. Use your shoulders. Shoulders. Bam. Woo. I should let you lead it, actually. I'm going to follow you. Ready? Half, three quarters, all the way, yeah, three quarters, half, little ones, nice, elbows are perfect, bring your palm, your hands to my palm. There you go. No more on the triceps now. So get your palm always facing the ground the way. Feel okay? Internal rotation. Excellent. She's doing reverse throwing for softball pitchers who throw underhand rather than overhand. And then one note is we'll move the clip based on where she feels that she's going to get the best sense of resistance. Why don't you explain exactly why you do the different parts? The first one is just a full circle, working on the resistance on your way up. The next one that we do, I like to move this up and just coming in with a back pivot of your hip, working on that pull through. And then the last one that we do, we'll step back a little bit. Same thing, but we'll move it a little bit forward here. And we'll go into the snap and extension through. So then we're working on that deceleration out of our explosive snap. So into my explosive snap and still having that stabilization as our arm speed decelerates through our circle after the ball is gone. So you just saw what was great about that is Monica showed us that in the softball world, obviously with pitcher swing underhand, that we do additional J-band exercises when we're done. She's loose, she's ready to go now. She's ready to have a great throw. Long toss is a key component to my game. It's something that I do every week and it's really showed a big difference in my velocity and in my control. So free and easy. You're just stretching out, you're getting some distance, that's however you want to do it. A little more height on the way out. That's the one. The first thing I teach any player, listen to your arm. Bottom line is she's getting her body ready to have a peak performance on the mound. She is incredibly accurate. Try that same exact throw, just aim a little bit higher. I want you thinking more range of motion, extension. Aim higher. There you go. So we actually have a cue that we use. We take our hats off 
That's how you're gonna let him know you're done. He'll take his hat off too. So we were letting each other know that by waving the hat that she's maxed out her distance, she's ready to start the pull through phase. Nice, ah, oh, it's pretty. One of the reasons I feel so explosive in the pull through phase is that I'm compressing my top distance in every pitch that I throw on my way back in. Pitching long, going way out in center field, whatever it is, getting as far as I can out there. It's such a key component to my pitching game. So she is nice and free and easy. Her arms completely opened up right now. When she gets back into this closer distance, her arm is gonna be working so free like that. Sometimes when you stop at 70 feet where that magic yeah. number is, and you can this is your workout now. This is for you. Beauty. Oh, pretty. That was pretty. Just keep thinking 190 feet. Oh, Beauty. I'm a little scared for my life right now. Beautiful. We got to use our legs and we got to get as much as we can out of it. So driving through as hard as we can from a really long distance is really gonna activate my lower body. See, I like that. I'm noticing your height is consistent. Okay, one more. Long toss is one of a key, key component for me in my game. It's something that I do every week as a softball pitcher and as women. That's really important for us is to really use our lower body as much as we can. When you extend and throw for throw distance, you're really able to drive with your legs and with your hips, and that all translates when you step back on the mound. I really like about throwing distance is as I work my way out to my top distance is I get to stretch out my arm, and it feels awesome. So as you go out there, really just kind of letting it fly and really getting that really good stretch through your entire body, but especially in your arm. But once I've reached my peak distance, I start to move back in. And that's where it starts to get fun and exciting. That's where you're really able to pull through with those hips, really drive through the ball. And through that pull through phase, that's when you're really able to see a big difference and start to see such explosion. And that's really cool.